Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and you're watching a new pen pal with me video. Now, I normally call myself the chatty pen pal channel, but I'm not particularly chatty today. You may hear it in my voice, but I'm still sick, at least when I'm recording this, but I don't actually know when this will be online. So hopefully by the time it's online, I will feel all better. I'm very <laughs> short in breath, um, very easily out of breath because I actually have COVID. Um, yeah, COVID still exists. I didn't know either. That's a joke. Um, but that will mean that I might be a little less chatty um, than what you expect of me. Today in this video I am making a project for my pen pal Cheryl. I have actually already received her reply to me which was absolutely wonderful and I, when I was making this I didn't feel particularly crafty which I, um, it's basically how I am these days, not particularly crafty. So I decided to start with a simple pocket and see how I go from there. <clears throat> What you saw me grab at the beginning of this video is my box of garden party, Maggie Holmes garden party supplies, and then I'm going to uh, find some other things in my stash that go with that collection. I um, Normally I will work on a project and then find the goodies, but I actually already knew what I was sending her. So this time I tried to do it the other way around and make a project to fit the goodies. Um, I have all of these heart stickers. It may seem like an overkill, but um, the uh, glitter, the pink glitter ones and the golden ones I actually picked out specifically for Cheryl because first of all, she loves pink and everything cute. So I figured she would like them. And then I decided to add in the craft paper hearts as well so, because this was uh, made around Valentine's. Um, and it seems like an overkill now, but I don't know, I thought they were fun and since I wasn't feeling particularly crafty, I figured I would send her some of the gifts I had gotten her instead. Um, so I trimmed down the, um, the packaging of the stickers simply so that they would fit into this project. I started this pocket with a very old um, music note page. Which I absolutely love. Um, these go well with any type of craft if you ask me. I distressed the edges with some pink ink. I will try and find it and link it down below in case you're interested. Um, that's my tea, I'm just adding some hot water to it. <clears throat> I um, made it pink all around the edges because Cheryl loves pink and I think it looks cute. And now I'm going to decorate it further. The reason why I already explained to you, sorry, um, yeah, and then I realized it doesn't actually fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to start from scratch because I knew I wanted to use those goodies. Um, I'm going to write my letter on the papers and then I'm going to gift her the remaining um, pages as well. But rather than start my project again, I actually decided to trim down the pages. Don't tell anyone it's a shortcut, but I trimmed down the pages. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cheryl. I hope you don't mind. I, of course, made sure that it wasn't noticeable. Um, but the reason why I already... <sighs> Seriously, I'm starting this story twice in the same way. And this is in my, on my lap, by the way. Did I already say that? I don't think I did. Just let me see if I pet her, if I can get a sound out of her. Nope, she's whilst asleep. That's one of the upsides of being sick, I guess. Um, I'm stuck on the couch all day but no loves being on my lap when I'm stuck on the couch so look at the bright side right but I explained to you third time now um, why I made a simple project but the reason why I wanted to make a video out of this is to showcase first of all um, a simple project because we all have paper and if you have paper you can make this um, but also I want to showcase more often and talk about this more often that pen paling can be simple because especially when I am not feeling crafty I get very easily intimidated by everything that is crafting and I will think um, I will make it too difficult on myself like okay if I make a flip book, where do I start? How many pages? What goodies do I include? And that can be overwhelming, literally. And I know that many people feel the same way. So my goal is to 
um, show to you very often <laughs> or more often the pen paling can be as big or as small as you want it to be i actually shared this on patreon um i very often feel this is me trimming down the papers don't tell anyone i very often feel like bigger is better especially in videos like i have to come up with new ideas and i have to make big flip books i have videos on my channel of like 10 page flip books which to some might seem easy but for me that was such a challenge i worked on that video for absolute hours because i felt that that was what i had to do like i had to go bigger and better and more crafty and more creative but <clears throat> i shared that on patreon um, to say that sometimes i just get intimidated by crafting and by youtube and by constantly trying to be better and they said Vivian um, or some people said Vivian we like small projects <laughs> pen piling is supposed to be fun and you tell us that all the time so what the heck are you doing <laughs> why are you making it so difficult on yourself and then I realized um, that actually I had this idea in my head that bigger was better and it turns out that it's not because let's be honest um, postage can be expensive <laughs> So sometimes smaller is better because it won't cost as much to ship overseas. So my goal for YouTube for the upcoming time, I don't know, is to show you more accessible ideas. And I think I have been doing that um, in between basically already because I love small projects and I love projects like this that it takes me a while to make and you can see all the little things that I am doing such as the ink around the edges and all of the decorations and you can see that I put in attention but it is still accessible. <laughs> I think I'm just starting to repeat myself now but I hope you get the idea and I hope that this is something that speaks to you. Um, but I actually looking back at my previous videos I also realized that many of the easy project videos I've done are very popular <laughs> so I guess that should have tipped me off <clears throat> so here goes the decorating um, I just had a paper scrap and I put some ink around the edges as well to make it blend in is blend in the right word my brain is not working to make it appear more um, matching no that's not good to make it blend in i guess that's okay uh, a little bit more and then i had a doily scrap <clears throat> my doilies the one that i use at least is from sostrene grene so if you're dutch they have a lovely doilies this shop called sostrene grene um i had a doily scrap and it actually was the perfect size for this so <laughs> that was like a happy little accident and then i had this large chipboard piece that says you make today better in like a polaroid type frame <clears throat> and i knew i wanted to use that so i kept that um, as like uh, i didn't stick it down because i knew also that i wanted to stick some things underneath it to make it appear more interactive or more fun and i definitely learned that from cheryl who is the pen pal that i was sending this to because she does the most incredible layering <laughs> um, and I actually filmed a or I edited a what my pen pals sent me video that will actually be online before or after this <laughs> because I already finished it and if you want to see Cheryl's incredible layering definitely check out that what my pen pals sent me video when it is online um, because you will see what I mean this little trick I also learned from her she does this um, I don't know how you call this decorating with gold thread underneath like peeking out from underneath um, embellishments I'm so sorry for how fuzzy I sound <laughs> it's um, probably not the best idea to be editing a video right now but I am legitimately bored and I just wanted to do something else than watch Bridgerton or play Farmville <laughs> for a little while um, but basically I learned this trick from her it looks i think it looks really fun with the golden thread peeking out from underneath the embellishments and again if you want to see a good example you should watch the what my pen pals sent me video or check out cheryl's instagram or something like that i actually think um that that video will be the next video i upload so you can put on notifications or something if you want to check that out um then 
the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to create because the paper is very busy I, I usually don't want to cover that up too much but then again it needed something else so I'm going to write Cheryl her name on the sticker the label sticker but I actually write it in pencil first you're not seeing that on screen yet I do realize I'm just gonna spoil the fun I'm gonna write it in pencil and then trace over the pencil with a pen sorry for my email notification with a pen and um, off camera when I finish this project I then erase the pencil but it completely smudges the marker <laughs> So it looks horrible and I there's no way to fix it. So after filming this video when I'm done I actually replace that label with a paper version and I write her name again So it's going to be Rather similar, but slightly different because uh, I smudged the pen <laughs> But you don't see that on camera, which is why I'm telling you now mm, I had all of the stickers, this is what I was talking about. I had all of the stickers and all of the die kits from this set. I don't, don't usually have this many supplies that come with one certain set, but I actually purchased this kit second hand. I'm still so proud of that. Um, we have a Dutch marketplace online. It's basically like Craigslist, I guess, but less shady. <laughs> and um, I have, um, a couple months ago, I found this entire set like the paper pad and the stickers and uh, the chipboard pieces and what else came with this oh yeah the hearts and everything like that everything completely unused for a pretty reasonable price sticker book and all so completely unused <laughs> which is insane i'm still so pleased with that so that is why i have all of the um goodies because this lady purchased all of the goodies Although I don't have the washi tape, which is sad, but someone sent me some samples, so I do have a little bit of that. Um, so while I am decorating this last little bit with some stickers, um, I want to tell you that, of course, I included some more things with this meal. You will see them um, on some pictures at the end. I ended up making a little teapot, not an actual teapot, a teapot die um, to include some tea. And what else did I make? Oh yeah, a gift bag with some things inside because um, I wanted to include some extra things that wouldn't fit into the pocket. Of course, I'm finishing it with a ton of Nouveau drops. Um, I would say you can't overdo it, but I definitely overdid it. But still, it looks kind of fun. <laughs> and it had to be more pink. <laughs> when you know Cheryl, you know it has to be as pink as it can possibly be. So, here is the finished look. I hope you liked this project. Let me know if you I should do more simple projects like this. I definitely think I should. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Um, I hope you've all been well. And I hope to see you again soon. If you want to see the What My Pen Pals Sent Me video, you should put, um, you should, you shouldn't do anything. <laughs> it would be an idea to follow my channel and uh, hit the notification bell so that you actually get a little notification when it comes online to make sure that you do not miss it. A big thank you to my patrons who are displayed here. If you want to support my channel and join the craft club, you totally can. Link is in the description. And follow me on Instagram for more uh, pictures and updates. <coughs> okay, bye!